we have a person who has had experience with the private healthcare system here. gym what's gym cool vibes wellness vibes wellness it's cool it's like a functional yeah. gym there's so many things there's a trx which i love what else is there i really Everything. like what they've done with the floor so like oh, they've concreted it and then screeded it and it's nice and shiny and then they've run an angle grinder off it to make it look like they're giant tiles i thought that's fucking smart that is it looks it looks tidy it looks cool doesn't it yeah it looks cool check, check out this art you know, it would be bad if that that one girl came by and she was walking. And got her camera. Oh, not me. Nice. Yeah. So there's this one well, girl. That one girl is walking by. This one girl. Not nice. Kaden, stop. This one girl walks around and I'm like, wow, like she's really a really attractive girl, but then she just kind of walks in a way that I'm like, oh. Like this. And then Keenan's like, that's how you walk. Keenan, without even saying anything, he's like, you know, you walk kind of like that girl. <laughs> Mackenzie's thinking all of this in her head, by the way. And I'm like, you walk kind of like that girl. Here we are. This is the gym. It's pretty dope. Five. There's dead babies out on the side. Oh yeah, it's Halloween, by the way. Um, They're not real. Promise. I think the body's real, but not the babies. <clears throat> True. Welcome, welcome, welcome. See you know what I mean about the tiles? <coughs> Hola. 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 Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So yeah, this this gym's pretty dope. I love these machines. Gracias, Luis. Thank you. We're in a bit of a tourist area, so the prices are a little bit higher, I must admit. Yeah, so we've got... Um, I'm, we're kind of, we're going to be leaving tomorrow, so let's hope that um, prices start to drop down a bit. Really cold? Is it super cold? Is it super cold? <laughs> what are you? What are you, babe? Muy frío. Muy frío. What are you right now? My peas. You cold? That's so Toad. <laughs> we are about to get some fruit. Some fruit salad. Okay, so there's a little fruit place in El Tunco. Mackenzie said she was struggling to get like tropical fruit. So we found some. Yeah. We did find some. I want some of this lychee. Hola. Oh, this is cocote. Buenos dias. Hola. Buenos dias. Oh, wow. That's the biggest papaya I've ever seen. Papaya. Wow. Es grande. Muy grande. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe just. Do you want to get some lychees? And the size of those pineapples. Look at these. Wow. Yeah, let's get some of these. Let's get lots of these. Si, si. Um, es. Licha. Licha. Yeah. Si, si. So I heard that it's the season for light cheese here right now. And like I thought these were more of an Asian fruit, but they're also here and they're in season and so we're gonna try them out and see how they're different. Tropical or just Asian? Um well no, I just thought they were like they originated and were in solely Asia. It's the only place I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, true. That's not so bad. how much was that? One fifty. So we just got leech. That's pretty good. We got a we got a passion fruit and we got probably like maybe a pound of lychee for one fifty. 
Yeah. Alright, let's try it out. Okay. Oh, but the only thing is I don't want to flip her. We just chuck it back in the bag, babe. It's just skin in it. No, it tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect? Some new gem. I just thought it would have a different flavor, but yeah, it's great. It's super ripe. Sweet. Right. Who would have knew that lychee tastes like lychee? You know? It's a revelation. Alright, we are here. We're making some breakfast. I got a nice healthy breakfast going for me. Keenan has absolutely been demolishing this fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> He's down three pieces now. So what? What we do? Anyways, so now we are going to go to El Zante, figure out the Bitcoin situation. How exciting. Six out of ten, maybe six and a half. Uh, oh, sorry. Keenan, what do you rate that fried chicken? Six and a half. Six and a and half out of ten. In the world, but this was good. So as many of you know, El Salvador is the Bitcoin country of the world. It's the only country in the world that uses Bitcoin as a legal tender. What do you think about that, Keen? Well, we're about to go find out. We're about yeah. to go get ourselves some Bitcoin. But one thing I found out today, I got a notification on my fucking crypto. F word. Right, I got a notification on my crypto that Bitcoin has just hit 72 grand. So what a time to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> it's at an all time high, so we're gonna get some, like a couple of suckers. And I'm uh, sure by tomorrow, our money's gonna depreciate. So what better way to spend your money? <laughs> well, we're, okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to see how easy it is to actually acquire Bitcoin from cash. Keenan's gonna see if he can transfer some of his current coins into Bitcoin. And then we're gonna see about actually using them and what that's like in El Salvador. So it's very, actually very exciting. So that's our side quest. Yes, so what, apparently you can go to a store at um, a place near the beach called El Sonte, and there you can buy a literal card with Bitcoin on. So we're gonna try that out. So come with us on our journey. We made it in one piece. Yeah, I was a little bit stressed. This was our first time driving. This is the Bitcoin hardware store. I don't know if it's open though. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? It's all discreet. Is it discreet? What does abetero mean? Abierto. Abierto. Means open. Should be open now. It says 24 hours. Oh no, is today Tuesday? Oh, you're joking. <gasps> as if we did that. How would I? Oh, I suppose Wednesday as well. Okay, well. I guess we'll have to come back. Who really owns your Bitcoin? I've heard they have, yeah, like little classes. You own your Bitcoin. Oh, depending on where you put it, I get you. If it's on an exchange, you don't own it is what they're trying oh, to say. Oh, okay. If it's on an exchange. Well, I don't know these things. If it's on one of these wallets, it's yours. That's cool. Yeah. Damn it. Online, it said it was open. Okay. If you can send there all you want, it's not gonna open. I can't. Open sesame. Well, let's, what should we do about our car? Let's go to the waterfall. Okay, well, bad news. We have really bad news, actually. Obviously, it was closed. Um, so, that gives us a chance. Actually, it's very beautiful outside. I don't know if you can tell. Let me do a little. So, we are, we are driving. And what we're gonna do now is go to a waterfall. So there's the Cascadas de Tamanique, which is in Cascada is waterfall. So we're going- Oh, waterfalls. Yes. So apparently you just need to drive to this and then we will hike, we do a little hike and then we're gonna see the waterfall. So we'll go on a little journey. Okay, we're gonna- Is it interesting? Yeah, like see how other countries do that. Like robots and shit, you know? Yeah. Um, listen, waterfalls for me, this is a hot take, but I find waterfalls super lame. I'm not going to lie. Um, everyone's like, you know, when you do touristic things and you go to places like tropical places like this, everyone's always going to the waterfalls. I've never been impressed by a waterfall once in my life. Once in my life. Like true. Oh, well, I'm impressed by this view though. Hold on. Wow. This is pretty. I really hope God shows you what waterfalls are about. I'm not sure if this is going to be that great of a waterfall, but I have heard there is one in El Salvador that's insane. I don't think it's the same one. So maybe we'll go to that, but yeah. yeah. Waterfalls... You know the people saying that is insane are the same people 
Waterfall. Going to a waterfall is like going to um, a movie that you don't really like, but you're just going for the sake of going to the theater, essentially. Nothing else to do. That's me and Keen, so we're going to the waterfall. Keenan's excited, though. I'm just excited to get out and explore the country. Queremos ir a la cascada. Necesitamos una guía o no? Sí. Es. Oh, hi, Luca. Oh, okay. He really boinked me. He came around behind me and just boinked me. ¿Y, y por qué necesitamos una guía? ¿Es un caminar muy largo o okay. qué? Es muy sostenible. Okay. Cuando usted visita un lugar como la cascada, uh -huh. los guías no solo no llevamos a las personas al lugar, sino que también arreglamos los senderos uh -huh. para llegar. Y lo más importante es que recolectamos toda la basura que existe. Sí, sí, entiendo. El, el lugar que usted va a ir a visitar ahorita es agua muy limpia okay. y no hay basura ni desechos. Es un lugar único. En El Salvador somos las cascadas más limpias que existen. Okay. Los guías somos 14 guías y los 14 guías. Todos los días traemos basura, por más mínima que sea, la recogemos y la entramos. Entiendo. Entonces, además de eso, pues el guía anda cuidando al turista, se necesitan cuatro cascadas, en todas las cascadas se dan indicaciones para que la persona no vaya a sufrir ningún accidente. Y de parte de la alcaldía de acá, tenemos totalmente prohibido que la persona vaya ella sola, por cualquier incidente que se dé, el guía tiene que ser responsable de poderlos trasladar a un lugar. Ok. The thing is, usually, um... It's cheaper, but since it's a private tour with just you and I, it's going to be $25 to see the waterfalls. What do you think? Mm. I mean, we're here. Maybe $15? Uh, es posible $15. No, es que la situación es que si ustedes hubiesen venido y hubiesen otra persona más, el tour vale $8 por persona. Okay. Porque de ahí, de esos 25 dólares, el guía tiene que cancelar 8 dólares allá, que eso no es de acá, sino que es de la allá, es un impuesto, porque las propiedades son privadas, no es público, ¿no? So, we're in the car with our guide. It's Nelson back there. Hola, Nelson. And we were very close to get a very small car. Yeah, we were, which is good because these roads are to get to this waterfall, let me tell you. Yeah, there's no way we can. Good thing we have a bigger car. Shite. Anyways. I see good. I'm right by a rock. Underneath us. Los calles están bien por carros o no? Siempre baja. El invierno, las lluvias, es que molesta las calles. Oh, okay. La lluvia, sí. He says the, the rains make the, the roads worse. Okay. The good news is we have another tour guide who is following us in the car, and that is the dog. Yeah. Galleta. The cookie. Cookie. Cookie dog. So he'll be, he'll be rolling with us up to the waterfall. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look who followed us the whole way. This is our squadron. Todos los días. Todos los días. Todos los días y han habido oportunidad que hemos bajado dos veces. Wow. Sí, pero es rara la vez que bajamos dos veces. Wow. He says um, that all day he'll be he'll be going up and down, up oh. and down, up and down. He said like minimum two times, but like for 15 years yeah. he's been going up. Ha sido. Es. <gasps> like what? a Venus flytrap. Oh my god. Wow, salsa de melona. Why does it do this? ¿Por qué hace esto? Se duerme, se cae, como se... que. Para protege... uh -huh. proteger. Sí, okay. sí. Eso, wow. ya eso, entre una hora, 15 minutos, ya está de vuelta levantada. We are just free you know, I'm... My man's in his boots. Go ahead, babe. 
So I'm about to do an India 2.0. All of you that said wash your fruit before you eat it, and I didn't, I just ate it. I've been told that I can drink this water. So it's pure. I'm gonna drink it. And there's gonna be a lot of haters, but no, there's this not, is why I do this. This is why there's guys. Tell them this is why yeah, they're guys. This is why they're guys. He told me I can drink this, so. No, like, they're keeping it clean and sustainable. Oh, okay. Well, you tell them. You okay, okay. Pretty much the reason why Keenan can drink this is because this is why there's guys like him, because um, they are making sure all of this water is non-polluted. It's drinkable. was really fresh like it that was like drinking like a, it just tastes like mineral water <laughs> literally Ooh. so what another thing you said is that like some british and american scientists came here and they tested like the drinking water compared to that water and that's how they found like that that water is way better so this is a nice nice drink ruins Like the earlier. Like the other one. So this one, like this one's the tallest, but this is the one that we saw below. That was the longest one. And then there's more down there. So. Okay. Te acaba del frío. Ajá. Ajá. Dolor de hueso, todo eso, porque sirve para la fiebre. Okay. So, ¿qué es el nombre? Se llama. Esto se llama crespillo. 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 So, medicinal. this is a medicine. This is a medicinal plant, and that this is what they use for the fever. And so, when you feel it, when you have a fever and you feel a cold within, this is something that you take a little bit to drink, and then you use the water. You soak it in water. You take a little bit to drink, and then you bathe. Okay, yeah, we're we're back in action. Um, we just dropped off the tour guide. I will say, if you're gonna do this, do not drive your car down that, car that park. Yeah, don't go, <laughs> just walk. I don't know, park your car somewhere in the town. If you don't have four wheel drive, it is like, we almost got stuck, this car got like stuck a couple times. We're on the rocks, we're on the rocks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so crazy, don't do that, don't do that. So like, tip if you're doing this, just walk. Park your car in the town and walk. I mean, it was plain sailing getting down. Yeah. But getting back up, it was just, oh. It's a lot of rock. Waterfalls, are they worth the hikes and the walking and the bugs? Babe, he taught us so much. Yeah, this guy did teach us a lot. He was very informative. Yeah, he was an awesome tour guide. Like, we did learn a lot about the, the plants around here and all that they can do for you and the animals. Uh, yeah. He was a really cool dude. He was cool. He was a nature pet. He's like total nature dude. Yeah, and he said, obviously, it takes Very longer to heal himself, but he prefers to use that. Supernatural guy. But yeah. So. He was cool. I liked him. He was and cool. he was, he giggled, he was smiley. He was smiley. Too, and one, yeah. I think once we fucking opened Pandora's box, he wouldn't stop telling us what was what. True. True. Which, kudos, my man. True. Let's get some food. All and right. He looks after that for us, so fair play. Let's get us some food. Okay, after our hiking and waterfall experience, we found a really cool place in El Sante. It's a little more expensive, so FYI. It's a beautiful place, and this is our last night in this area, so we're meeting a friend. Um, and what's it called? Um, Ol Ole de Mar. Olor de Mar, which means like smell of the sea. And you can really smell the sea. And I don't know if that's because Mackenzie hasn't washed or because I'm sat next to the sea. keenan has gone with a shirtless look, apparently. And then we have the sea. That place looks cool over there. Okay, I have phenomenal news. Everyone knows, we love to know what's going on with the healthcare system here. And I have heard in El Salvador, there is both a private system and a public. But we have <laughs> A person who has had experience with the private healthcare system here. First, what happened to you? Uh, I have uh, ear infection due to surfing in polluted water. Bodyboarding. So it's way better. It's way more dangerous. Okay. So he had an ear infection, and then you went to which hospital? 
Uh, so I asked uh, the wife of my life which hospital I should go, <laughs> and she told me to try uh, Hospital de Diagnosticos. Okay. So I checked on Google, and it was like very the rating were good. A lot of international people were going, and actually you can contact them on WhatsApp, which okay. is like fucked up. Wow. <laughs> so I sent them a text on WhatsApp. I told them my thing, and they were like, "Yeah, you can come now. There's not a lot of people." So okay. I took a cab, arrived there. Uh, you sign up, give your passport. In two minutes, uh, you done. You wait. I waited like five minutes, not even. Oh my gosh! Um, then she brought me into the little tiny room when you wait uh, behind a curtain, and there was another people. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think someone bleed out and shot on my uh, cushion. <laughs> okay. And the the what made you went, think that? I post an Instagram story about it. Like Stinky. there was, yeah, there was, there was. Like that was the only thing. It was not very, very clean, but like. They were very professional. Like the doctor came, the, infer the first the nurse came. She took all my pressure, all my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, then ten minutes later, the doctor came. Uh, he took out my ears. He explained me all the thing. He said that if so, he gave me antibiotics and drops. Mm -hmm. And he said if it wasn't going better in a week, I should go see the specialist, and he okay. would make me a, a letter. Well. I waited a bit long after that, the time he, he went to write the stuff, but I think maybe he was overwhelmed, so I went out and asked the lady and the doctor was coming. So he gave me my thing, I went he out. gave you your medicine? Uh, no, 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 no medicine. He, they don't give you, they, they just don't give, give you a prescription. Medicine. Okay. Um, and I went out to pay, and it took like two minutes. It was like $28. Okay. Uh, because I think it was just an external consultation. There were no act and things like this. Okay. And so I left, I went to the pharmacy and it cost me like 20, same $26 for a pack of antibiotics for five days and drops. Great, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. And the fact that you didn't have to wait very, uh, very much. We didn't get the Bitcoin, too bad. We did go to a waterfall and we saw a French and we learned more about the El Salvadorian healthcare. So this was a successful day and check out this restaurant. It's just so beautiful. Thanks for joining along, everyone. Very beautiful. Muchas gracias. Salud. I'm fat.